Yeah, so I got all the Cody butter. For the shell, it's the same process every time. In my bed, and then from there I'll go around the hall. very least a quarter inch per foot you know, check it from corner to the train. So that it's very important that the bonding flange be completely supported down nice and tight and then I'm gonna screed from the in the thin set and then I will so I'm gonna roll the, the membrane back into the thin set and here so in the corners here I'm gonna use the prefabricated corners smooth it into the thin set with a pattern knife So you spread your thin set, and, and, and once again with your plain knife you press it in. Okay, so that's it. Well done. Let it drain. drain. This here snaps on here. Go through here like that, and this to move this around a bit, a little bit of adjustment. And it's rather easy to do. It's the floor is a manageable size. Okay, so because there's going to be wall tile on top of this, the cut piece of the floor tile, and I'm going to pick precisely what it needs to be. Never, when you're installing tile, you never want to get cheap thin set. Always spend a little more money and get a quality, even coverage on the back of the tile. What you do is you. Fill that with thin set. You're going to press your drain in. That's completely filled because the thin set is what is going to hold. And I'm going to push the drain down. So, is when I picked up the pieces that were cut around the drain, I put them on a piece of cookies cookie in and then uh, clean it up as you go along. And there you have it. Direction. You don't want them going in opposite directions. You don't want them to do like a cross hatch and you won't run into problems. <clears throat> if your base tile is not uh, perfect. So now I got my first row of tile on the bottom perfectly flat. Perfect. Lines going in uh, several directions or swirls in the thin set will trap air and. Okay, so I got a couple of walls done. These have been able to set overnight. Any um, break off above the tile. So sometimes you come to a tile 
that presents a bit of a challenge and uh, finish all the exposed edges that way. So. That's all the tile in the shower stall. So the next video will be drawing the, um, the moisture out of and you know in the joints where it might meet the frame or the wall etc. Once I get my Dietra heat mat down um, and full tile, so all I have to do is just get that uh, that when you place the tile into the thin set that it's gonna squeeze through <laughs> wet the tiles can uh, quickly come loose and fall off of the mesh. Uh, others, it's not affected by one. And we get to the top surface. Uh, that will also help with cleaning the tile as you wash it. That can be scratched by the sand in the grout. Then you're going to have to make. I'm gonna test again. Okay, so this one here just fits in between the new kind. Very good idea because it'll key the thin set into the back of the tile. Cover that gap, and you'll have adequate room for expansion and contraction if the bit. But today, tiles are getting much bigger, and that has caused. So here, you're also seeing me using a cross laser. This is cross, but you want to go in the same direction in line with the ground. And if you've kept you, your uh, finish your tile in a doorway where it's going to meet another uh, flooring yeah, material yeah. filled with. The Set and then it's gonna, when you put your tile on, you're gonna get a problem. Want to add to them so that you get the proper uh, properties of the grout. So the line to get it nice and even. Uh, sometimes that means going across on a diagonal, sometimes it means going along with the grout line. So this is the finished floor, just after cleaning up and everything else. And uh, I, at the very end of this video, you can act months. later uh, when the other uh, contractors came in and finished their this yep. glass tile. There are still no doors on the functioning bathroom which the customer has been using. Uh, that's it. Uh, completed master bathroom and a steam shower. And as always, don't forget to subscribe as many as I can. Also, don't forget, I always leave next video.